Today I will be showing you how to make this little mouse and you will need two blues for the eyes or whichever color you want to do, 18 pink, um, 8 white rubber bands and about 93 gray. So let's get started. First let's make the eyes. For the eyes we're going to take your single rubber band and looping it three times on your hook creating four loops, taking a single white, double it, and pulling those rubber bands onto the white. And you can make the penguin eyes too, but I just chose to do this eye for my mouse. Same thing for the other eye, take your single rubber band, looping it three times, creating four loops, take a single white, double it, and pulling it right onto the white. And now since the face will be gray, we're taking a single gray and pulling it, the eyes right onto that single gray. And you can make your mouse any color, brown, white, but I'm just choosing to do uh, gray. And also make sure you have some hook, extra hook to put your um, parts on. Now let's make the legs. We're going to take a single pink and we're going to loop it three times on your hook. Take two grays. This is for the bottom of the foot. And pull this pink right onto the grays. And then for the upper part, we're taking three single grays and then pulling your rubber band right onto it. And we're going to put it aside for later. And now we're going to make three more. And you can do it on, on the loom also. On the loom, take three single rubber bands and putting it at the end of a loom there like that. Next, we're taking two single rubber bands and then looping the end off three times. Looping it twice, creating three loops. Do the next one. Three single gray. Two and then a single to loop it twice to create three loops. And you can choose a different color for the toes. I'm choosing to do pink. Again, this is the third, the fourth foot. Take a single pink and loop it twice to create three loops. And now let's go ahead and loop it up and onto itself. And then we can take it off the loom and put it aside for later. Don't let it come apart, it shouldn't. Just take it off carefully. And now let's do the tail. The tail we're going to use the entire loom starting at the top. So take a single rubber band, double it. I'm making my tail pink. And we're going to do this about 12 times. Single, double, and just go right down your loom. Single, double. We don't want our tail too fat. And if your rubber band breaks or anything, just try to stretch it out first. So that way it's a little bit stretched out so you don't have a hard time um, looping it up and breaking your rubber band. And the rubber band that I'm using today are all Rainbow Loom brand rubber bands. So I'm going to just do this down my entire loom, the whole length. Taking a single and doubling it. And now we're at the end here. I'm going to ha go ahead and take a single and I'm going to loop the tip of his tail um, three times, creating four loops. If you can do three, just do three. If you do, can do more, do more. Now let's go ahead and reach all the way under, grabbing the bottom two bands and just looping right up all the way to the top of your loom.
And now let's take a single gray and kind of creating a slip knot, but we're not going to. It's just going to hold our tail for later to add to our body. Let's take it off of the loom. And the last thing we're going to do here, we're going to add the, um, or make the, the um, ears. Put your tail aside for later. If you want it longer, you can make it longer. Now for the ears, we're going to use the top of the loom. Let's go ahead and take a single rubber band and put it in the triangle there at the top of our loom. And the arrow should be facing to you if you're working towards your body. Take another single gray, double it, and put it on either side, on the right side or the left. Take another gray, double it, put it there. And now take another gray, double it. We're creating kind of like a hexagon. Take the last gray to close, single gray double, to close up your hexagon. And now we are going to take a white, whatever the inside of the ear color you want to be. Mine will be white. Putting it from the first peg to the second peg from the top. Take another single gray, double it, and put it across to create a holding rubber band. So it goes from here to there. Take your hook and loop the top to create the triangle there. And now we can go ahead and loop up the center of the color, the center of the ear color. Take a single gray, and we're going to loop the tip of the ear. If you can do four, do four loops. If you can't, do three. And now let's go ahead and go under the cap band, grabbing the top two rubber bands whichever one that is, and pull it to create the nice teardrop. Go back under the cap fan, grab the last two, and looping it onto itself. And these should all create nice teardrops, and just go ahead and continue up the side of your ear, and then right onto that center peg where the arrow is. Same with the other side. And now let's go ahead and take it off and put your ear on your holding hook for later. And let's make the other ear. And for the ear, you want to stretch it out so it's, it's mouse-like. It's going to scrunch up a little bit and there's going to be a little hole there. You want to pull the center up to fill it up. So if you pull it and pull it up, it should fill up with that white. Let's go ahead and make the other one, same thing, single gray, triangle, single gray, double on either side, two more single grays, single, double, creating your hexagon, single, double, take your single, double, Creating your holding rubber band. Take a single white for the center of the ear. Loop up the top of your holding rubber band to the second peg in the middle. And then pull your color right onto there. Take a single rubber band and loop the end, the tip of the ear there. Four times. Looping one, two, three, creating four loops. And now Take your hook, go inside, grabbing the top two, creating your nice teardrops. Go back in and then just loop up your ear. Once you've done that, go ahead and put it on your holding hook. We're about to start the head and the body and everything. Once again, you want to fix your ear so that way it's round and the inside's not hollow. Pull that white up, it'll fill in. And now let's make the nose. For the nose, let's go ahead and take a single pink rubber band and loop it four times on your hook. 
and then take three single rubber bands and pull those rubber bands right onto your hook. Let's now take a single rubber band and pull your single right through the nose there and put it on a holding hook for later. And now let's go ahead and make the mouse. Two single rubber bands from the top of your loom in that configuration. Go ahead and start diagonally on both sides and coming down to for the side of the face. And if you want to add some color to your mouse, you can. I'm just going to do a solid gray mouse with you today. And then after the second one, go ahead and bring it in to the chin peg. Repeat on the other side, two single rubber bands. And down to the chin peg. And on the chin peg there, make sure you push your rubber bands all down to the very bottom and don't let it overlap. And now let's go ahead and do the center of the face. Two single rubber bands all the way down to the chin peg. Now let's do the body. We're going to go diagonally from the chin and then we're coming three down. Two single rubber bands. Same thing on the other side. Two single rubber bands. Diagonal and coming down three times. And then let's go ahead and close up the body. It's the bottom there. Now for the center of the body, I'm doing the top here gray. You can choose to do white if you want. Let's go ahead and loop from the chin peg one down and now I'm going to give some white in his belly. I'm going to use only two single rubber bands. I'm doing that twice. Two single rubber bands. And now two single gray down to his bottom there. And if you want to do a different color, you can. And the nose will go on the third rubber band from the top of the loom and center it. And now let's go ahead and add the legs, take your legs from the, the um, where you had it, get it on your hook in the loop, and go ahead and add it to this peg and that peg. And if you want to add the arms, you can, or you can add it later with me on the shoulder rubber band, your choice. So the legs I'm adding on this peg and this peg, I'm going to do the arms later. Now let's add the ears. Make sure you get all the rubber bands onto the the peg there and where your hook is you want to make sure you see the hole where the hook is you want to make sure all the rubber bands fit right onto that peg otherwise your ears will fall apart so there they are since my eyes are here let's go ahead and add it to the eye pegs it should be the second from the top and split them out and let's put some holding rubber bands we want to go ahead and take a single rubber band and loop it around the eyes, creating the triangle. Loop it around the nose, creating a triangle. These are all single rubber bands. Let's take two single rubber bands for the body, for the torso, and then near the belly, two single rubber bands. And now if you want to add the tail here, you can, like I did with my birds or we can do it later. I'm going to choose to do it later, but that's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and cap this off three times or loop it twice to make three loops. And you can do four if you want. And now let's go ahead and loop up. We're going to go under the cap band. If you have the tail there, go ahead and pull the tail back and pull 
your top two single under the cap band and looping it onto itself, creating teardrops. Go back in, grabbing the next two, looping it onto itself, and the last two, looping it onto itself. And now let's go up the side of the body, go past all the leg rubber bands, grabbing the bottom two, and looping it onto itself. Just go up to the side and stop at the shoulder. I'm going to add the arms later. I'm working the other side now, same thing. Go right under, grabbing the bottom two rubber bands, making sure you grab the bottom two always to create your teardrop and check for your teardrops before you go on to the next part so your animals don't fall apart. And now let's go ahead and take the arms, put your hook through all the loops, there should be six of them, six rubber bands in total, and then pull your arm right off the shoulder or the rubber band for the shoulder, and then looping it onto the chin peg. Same thing on the other side. Get your arm from where you had it, put your hook through the loops, and grab your shoulder rubber band, and pulling it right onto the chin peg. And now let's do the center of the body, going all the way up again before you go on. Check to make sure you have teardrops up and down your body. And now we're going to do the chin peg. Go right in there, grabbing the top two rubber bands, and it should be the ones going up to the center of the face. Pull it up and you should see the teardrop forming and looping it onto itself. Go back in, grabbing the next top two. And mine's going to the left. You see the nice teardrop looping it onto itself, and the last two, looping it onto itself. And these rubber bands should catch all the rubber bands that we brought up from the body. So if you don't have that, it's not creating teardrops, your animal will fall apart. Let's go ahead and just start looping up the side of the face, either side, grabbing the bottom two rubber bands, and bring it all the way up to the center peg there. Same thing on the other side. Now the center of the face. And your mouth should be ready to come off the loom. Go ahead, take a single rubber band to do your slip knot. Get, put your hook right through the center. Pull it up, creating your slip knot. Now take it off the loom. There's your little mouse. Go ahead and push his nose out. Then pinch it, make sure it's sharp. Push his eyes out, and you don't want it to be protruding too much, so don't push it out too much. Pull the ears to the side a little bit, spread them out, and make it hook down a little bit. You can put your hook through under his chin there to pull up those rubber bands. So he's looking up, Chuck, tuck in the charm string if you want, pull his arms and his legs down. He's tiny. And now let's add his tail. Go ahead and go to his bottom, get your hook through these, these two rubber bands there at his bottom. Get your tail, 
put your hook through the loops and pull, give a little bit of tension and pull those two rubber bands through onto your hook like that and now you're going to push spread those two rubber band where your hook is open like that and push your tail through and pull it out so that's your tail and you can go ahead and adjust it how you want that's your mouse I hope you like him thanks for watching